Special thanks to this company who were nice enough to send us their smart AI bird feeder. So as you can see, it has a camera in it and you're able to put your bird seed in. And then when the bird comes up to eat the food, you're able to get a nice little video clip of the bird eating. Now, the reason that I got this is my wife actually put up a bird feeder just recently in our yard. And so when they reached out about this, I'm like, well, this is absolutely perfect because she would love this considering, well, she already liked the bird feeder and this would give her a way to see it. Also, the app will even tell you exactly what kind of bird it is. So of course, we'll get on the overhead rig, we'll go through the unboxing, then we'll go through the setup process, and then we're gonna hang this in a tree, put some bird seed in it, show you some clips from it, and see exactly how this little smart AI bird feeder works. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life, and indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And now let's check out the smart AI bird feeder. All right, so the smart AI recognition bird feeder. You kind of have a good idea here of what it'll look like. I sadly can't get it all into frame here, but ultra wide HD photo, 1080p live stream video, 2.5 liter food capacity, built-in microphone, AI bird recognition, and app control. This side, basically the same. Remote control, visitors automatic notification, HD video streaming. This would be perfect for a bird lover. If you love birds, this would be what you would need. It is USB-C, it has a 5,000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery, two megapixel photos, 1080p, full HD video. Very nice product here. And then there's some birds and what it kind of looks like in the app. So let's get this unboxed the best we can on my desk. I need to make a bigger rig or something so I can get some of these big products. All right, foam on top. Oh, wow, it's like all one unit. So, well, that's a micro USB cable. A cable. Got a full user's manual telling you how to use it, of course. And it looks like the whole thing's just together. Yeah, all that's down in here is the mount. That's that's the mount to mount it to the wall. And that's it for the box. So like I said, that's the uh, wall mount plate for it. Kind of show that to you. Look at that, they even included all this for you. Very nice. Love the way they did that. Nice job. And this is the actual little bird feeder. Look at that. That is something else. So it looks like this camera. Does it slide out? No. So it's actually micro USB. But that's that. What is this? Is this where you put the food in? Yeah, that's where you put your food in. So you're able to put your food in here. And then your food will come out here. Oh. And then your food will come out here. And of course, the camera is fully encased in this little thing here. So you don't really have to worry about the camera itself uh, getting any food on it or any of the birds messing with the camera because the birds will land here, eat the food, and the camera will catch them. Got to figure out exactly how to hook up all of this because there is a solar panel here. So I'm going to do a little bit of research myself before I just throw this together. But I'm gonna look through this manual, then I'm gonna go outside, find a location to put this. We'll go through the setup process with the app, and then uh, I will have some video clips and we'll show you what that looks like as well. All right, so now I have fully charged up the uh, camera and we have an on off switch here. I'm gonna throw in a micro SD card first. Nice 32 gig class 10 from Micro Center. Slide this. Right in the top here. There we go. Fill that off. Plug in our solar panel. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let me first, let me first switch it on. We'll go through the setup process. So you can scan this code to download the app needed. So we'll scan this. Bird Lover takes us over to the Play Store and we can install the Bird Lover app. Now at this point we have the flashing red light, which means the camera is in pairing mode. So we will open this up, agree to whatever they want, and we'll sign up, make us an account, and then we'll come back and show you what to do next. All right, so now we don't need that anymore. So to add a device, we'll click our plus sign here in the top right and select add a device. Wants our location, sure, while using the app. And we have the smart bird feeder and the smart bird feeder. I'm gonna choose the blue one since, since mine's blue. All right, power on the device. We did that. Press and hold the reset button for five seconds. Camera will start resetting process. That is, oh, it's the button that says sync. So that's, that's helpful to know. Got me a little tool here. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. All right. Same noise as before. Then we'll select next. 
indicator light will flash rapidly when camera is reset. So that is the rapid flash. So we are there, we have that. Select next. We'll put in our Wi-Fi password and then we will scan the QR code with the camera. There we go. So it scanned the QR code. I heard a prompt and now it will add this device to my Wi-Fi network since it has the SSID and password. And so I'm actually gonna leave it there. Smart bird feeder camera, nothing really special to name there. Not worried about a notification test right now. So we go into the camera and there's an update. I'll run that in a moment if it'll let me. Hey, there we go. <laughs> All right, sweet. So we're gonna go ahead and run this update now and then put it on auto update, confirm. All right, so we'll let this update install. We'll go outside, we'll install it, and then we'll show you, of course, some daytime and nighttime footage directly from the smart bird feeder. I guess while it's running this update, I can put this back in like so, and then take our solar panel micro USB cable and insert it in. And there we go. Now the solar panel will help keep the battery charged. And so that should be it. It should be good to go outside. Let's go out and put this outside and see what it looks like. All right, so we have our bracket and plastic piece that we screw on and the bolts for underneath and the screws to mount the plate. So uh, let's go mount this and then we can mount this onto this. All right, I think we're gonna put it like right about here. Did they go through? No, they didn't. Nice. Grab our bird feeder. We need these screws, this plastic piece, and of course this. All right, so now with this installed, all we have to do is take our bird feeder and set it on top like so. And then this little plastic piece just fits on right underneath here and lines up with everything. And then you screw it together with those screws. And so there we go. Our three screws are in and our bird feeder ain't going nowhere. So the birds will be able to land here and grab the food. And of course, this camera connects to the router inside the house and will feed us everything. And of course, this solar panel will charge to keep this camera charged, which is just all around great. So now uh, we just gotta get some bird seed, drop some bird seed in the back here, fill this up and then let it record. I really like this though, it looks really nice. All right, so now we're gonna put some bird seed in. This just pops right out and the bird seed's able to go right down inside of it. But of course it can't, uh, it doesn't get on the camera in any way. Slides in up top and then down. It is fully ready to go to record a daytime audio video test on the bird feeder. Sadly, we haven't had any birds come over here to eat, so I haven't gotten any clips. So I need to get the video. So that's why I'm doing it this way. All right, so this is a nighttime audio video test on the bird feeder camera. Very nice. And so that should do it for this smart AI recognition bird feeder. Now I've had this thing out there at least a day or two and I don't know if the birds haven't found it yet or what, but I have not had any birds come up to it that recorded a clip. So that's why I just made the clips myself. So luckily I was able to show you a daytime and nighttime clip from this camera so you can see the quality. And of course, if you have enough birds coming around, then you know, you'll be able to know which birds those are and it'll feed all that info to your app. It could be because it's winter time. Maybe they've already flown further south to stay warm. I don't, I don't really know. I'll of course have this exact smart AI bird feeder linked down below in the description if you'd like to grab one of these for your household. And that should do it for this video. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at adultsclothing.com for the merch, and we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.